this game is, in my opinion, possibly the ultimate video game. It's open world, it has structured missions in an open world. It doesn't hold your hand, but it can kind of tell you where to go. Like, it literally, you're like in this linear game in the beginning, and then the second your vault opens, you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of yourself, you have to feed yourself, sleep, um, get ammo, buy weapons. Radiation, you have to deal with that. Deal with radiation, you can break your bones. That's right. Um, That's cool. You can get bleed outs, you can get poison, you can get sickness, you can get disease. You had to ration everything. Like you could get like water, but it could be contaminated water, and if you got that, you get radiation poisoning. You could get addicted to pills in this game. And addicted to drugs, and if you don't take them, your character is unhappy. The skill tree. That was really that cool. character development, how it was like 50 things. Yeah. It's so like you upgrade it individually, and it was like, I don't even think I've seen the entire list. No. Like, every time you upgrade, like, three items, all of a sudden it unveils, like, 20 new things you can upgrade. Yeah. It's insane. And if you upgrade your character enough in, like, smarts or strength, that then becomes a option in the dialogue. Like, it'll say, like, you're going to be nice, you're going to be mean, or you're going to be smart, or you're going to be strong. And it turns, it changes the outcome of every mission, so the game is, like, infinite replay. The story wasn't that good. Yeah, I don't, go find your dad. That's... Go find him. Yeah, he left, and now you, and you're on this huge lace wasteland, and now you go find your dad. If it was real life, I think it would have stayed in the vault and just been upset about it. Yeah. It was really all about taking care of yourself and scavenging. Yes. And it was the VAT system. That was the coolest thing that I've ever seen. Doot, 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 doot. Those sound effects, if you've played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then that moment you get a headshot in the VATS. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy crap! It's game of the year for a reason, and went platinum for a reason. Having said that, this is a bug-filled mess. Yes. It seems like that with a lot of Bethesda's games. They have these huge, amazing games with a good amount of bugs and glitches. But they are so good you can overlook them. Mm -hmm. Like, Skyrim, 10 out of 10. I cannot beat some of the missions because they're literally broken. Fallout. Best seller, game of the year, platinum edition. Some of the missions do not even work. How about that? But not. Even though some of the there's just so many things, so many missions to do. It just doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just sit here for a second and talk about the atmosphere that Bethesda games make. When you're playing Skyrim, and you're walking through a mountain valley with pine trees around you, and you see a saber-toothed cat in the background. Like, you see it off in the distance, and you hear elves arguing amongst each other behind you, and you see someone cutting wood while the saber cat's stalking them. And then, here's the thing, if you save them, it turns into a mission, the guy gives you money. Yeah. The game is incredible. Seeing mammoths and giants in the distance. Oh, yeah. This game was incredible. The atmosphere in Fallout, I think, is the best ever. I have never been so immersed in a game, ever. I think uh, that would be me with Skyrim, I think. I don't know. There's just so many like different environments and things, like the whole forest and the mountains and all the snow and the dungeons and everything. That was so much fun to explore. What about the spider dungeons? I don't like spiders. <laughs> spiders are bad. The spiders are really bad. The spiders actually scared me in this. And then Fallout 3 is a wasteland. It looks like a wasteland. It feels like a wasteland. This is what a wasteland would be like in real life. And I think some people complain like, oh, it's empty. But when a nuke goes off, I mean, there's not going to be much. And in this game, I'm pretty sure in Skyrim too, but in this there's a hefty amount of really fun Easter eggs. Alright, camera's dying, so we're going to try and make this quick. We got, let's see, let's start with these. These are the worst. Yeah. Prototype 1. This is bad. Don't play it. We're done with Prototype. Prototype 2 is a lot of fun once. The atmosphere is really cool on the first city. Second part of the city blows. Third part's even worse. This game was hyped to no end and wasn't good. Yeah. I, I played it a few times. It just wasn't really... 
that great? I mean, some of the things were cool with the, what was it, throwing blade oh, thing. Oh, yeah, those. That was pretty cool. fun. Some of the monsters were pretty cool, I guess, but I don't know, it wasn't that great. I don't want to be rude, but I think it should stick to corridor shooters. Assassin's Creed. Really good. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I liked, I liked the whole world of it and how it felt like an actual... I know they captured the whole, like, Jerusalem and the whole year. It was in really well, I thought. I liked how you have to go assassinate certain characters and... I like jumping on buildings and climbing buildings and evading people. That, that was, was fun. fun. And just assassinating people and you're hitting blood. That was really cool. That was fun. Just like sneak up behind them, stab them, and then walk away. Yeah. Combat was... I didn't like it that much. It was a little weird, but... Other than that, pretty pretty good series. Let's just get... Let me have one... I have one gripe with this. The futuristic aspect. It... Plain Memories is stupid. That's dumb. That's, that's actually dumb. That's the movie where it's a full movie. The guy wakes up at the end. I had a dream. It's I bad. hate that. Stop doing that and just make a game based in that time period. Yeah, that would be... As I was saying before the camera died, we had to switch, so if the quality sucks now, sorry. But it's like, imagine it being in Skyrim. You play the whole game. Then at the very end, your character wakes up and it's like 2041. And he's like, wow, what a wicked dream. Mass Effect. Not just two, one, two, and three. Mass Effect uh, trilogy. Your thoughts? Um, well, since I only played the third one, I really don't know the whole story within everything. I thought... Even just playing through, I thought it was. I thought the story was alright. I thought it was pretty cool. I liked. I really. I, I just like. I really liked the whole space thing, and going to different planets. And the scenery in that game was super good. In Mass Effect Three, um, I since it was the first one I played, I liked how you were able to assemble your own like squad and then assign them each like little power and attack the enemies with it. I thought that was really cool. Oh, um, yeah. It took me a long time to beat it. That was. It wasn't the game's fault. It was my fault because I was just. I was slow at it. I was like, you know, going along really slowly. But I don't know. I liked the levels and I liked the story, the ending. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna even talk about the ending because people will get mad. People. We're still giver. But yeah, I like. I actually like the games. First one I couldn't get into. I love the second one. I beat the whole game. I can't bring myself to play it again though. I don't know why. I just can't. I played the whole thing once did like everything he possibly could and I can't bring myself to play it again so really good story great it's so deep yeah it's crazy deep a lot of talking I actually don't even remember the combat in this game I remember talking that's good though I guess that is good I mean if it's that memorable but I mean is it memorable or is it just so much it's all I can remember that's true and now there was just Cause 2. Just Cause 2. That's we super don't underrated. Have an actual copy of it. But. Yeah, I don't have the actual physical copy of the game, but I do have it downloaded on my Xbox because I could not go another day without owning it. Beyond underrated. Biggest open world game I've ever played. You have a tropical island, and when I say an island, I mean like a full island. You have a full tropical island, full desert island, full snow mountain island. No. You have a full swamp slash flatland island, and then you have a full, like, militia island. This game was huge! And you had the grappling hook and a parachute to get around. Yeah. And then there was a whole city island. That's right, there was. I remember that, and traveling around with jets and everything, and all those airplanes, and... Oh my word, there was jumbo jets. I liked grappling people on. <laughs> Using my grappling and attaching them to a plane and just flying everywhere as they are like, ah! That was fun. There was good memories of that game. Shooting wasn't that great, that, but that wasn't, that wasn't really the highlight of it. I mean... It's it's weird if you think about it. The highlight was sort of having fun. That's true. Which is awkward. Because, I mean, it's like, how do you not... How do you have fun with a game that can't be very good? Yeah. There was so many explosions in that game. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, if you're going full speed in a car chase, you shoot out one tire, the enemy car flips like a hundred times, That's, and it yeah. explodes. Yeah, that was really cool. The wow. demo, that was the best demo ever made. Talk about one that you don't have, but it is 
Well, Borderlands, because a lot of people like Borderlands. Borderlands. We should talk about Borderlands. I liked the first one. I played some of it. Just kind of had the Dishonored effect, and I just sort of fell from it and never really got back into it. What I remember... It's sort of an RPG, uh, open world shooter where you're running around and you're leveling up characters and like guns and stuff. And there's like super colored guns and like different powers for each gun. And it's like open dungeons in different areas and you fight like midgets and monsters and people with guns. Yeah. There are boss battles, which are like the bosses of the dungeons. I thought it was really well made. I just for some reason couldn't get into it and I'm mad that I couldn't. Yeah. I think I put a lot of time into it. I beat it. Um... I tried to beat it again on, it was like a, I think it was like a New Game Plus sort of thing. I love those. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was, uh, it was just some hard mode. I don't know. I tried to beat it again, and it was just like, uh, I, I couldn't do it. I don't know why. I liked the game, the whole cartoony effect. I thought that was pretty pretty cool. I liked the enemies. The guns were fun. And I liked the humor it had, because... It was funny. Yeah, it was actually pretty funny in some parts. Um, I liked the little robot. Yeah. The little R2-D2. Uh, clap trap, I think it was. Yes. I think that, it was, was, that was fun. And then, Borderlands 2. I didn't um, even try that. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. Go ahead and hate me. I didn't even try it. That one was fun. I never got the chance to play it. Well, be beat it. Um, I really liked that they added more variations of guns, because the first one was kind of lacking, I guess. Um, it was totally just improved from the first one thought and enjoyable games. I like them.